welcome back we are looking at boss vrx however you say it we haven't talked about this in forever um however what i do want to talk about right here is we do have a trend line from all the way back here that successfully manages to touch right here back in june well and right here back in january the load that was made so what i think is potentially playing out right here which would make sense with this because you can see that downtrend is intact is that you actually might be accumulating so if that's the case then what you could look for with looking at this would be like a falling wedge you come back down maybe make a new low if you don't make a new low then you'd make a higher low right there bounce off of that point of control come back up and then you finally break through which um i mean this in itself that would be massive also you are having from what i am hearing a coinbase listing which i would imagine uh, i forget if it's up already i'd want to say it is but this does make sense so whenever you get the listings you get that run up beforehand and then it gets listed and then you start to see it rug down which would make sense now switching this over to log um if this is more of like the white call accumulation happening um what i would kind of be looking at this is uh right here i'm trying to line it up just right so right here this general vicinity would be like your preliminary support um and basically where we be right now at least where i would think is if it is accumulating that's uh, your distribution um <clears throat> which also you can kind of see the structure of it where it'd be wedge but anyway um the area where i think you would be right now is in your phase b basically this topping area you don't necessarily have to be done just yet um oops because it could be like your one, two, three, four, come up for a five, similar to that. Um, or it could be done, who knows. But um, I figured I'd mention that. That means after this, you'd go head on down for that um, higher low that we were just talking about. And then from that point on, I would imagine, well, that higher low, depending on like which schematic you want to look at you could have a spring which does end up breaking this low you make a higher low right there and then carry on with your day or if you're looking at your schematic too you make a higher low essentially up here and basically that's your last point of supply and then you move on up so basically the main difference is your phase c uh but even on the schematic one which i do want to mention your spring slash test this doesn't necessarily have to break the low in itself um could just come down very 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 close so looking at that um however you still do have this relatively strong uptrend uh for uptrend to really get taken out you would really have to close below doo -doo -doo, about uh two zeros 93 which um i'm pretty sure the first video i did on this was like i know it was several months ago but I do remember talking about how um, this is like one of those hidden gems, those like 100x gems. So I would honestly, even if I wanted to go up, I'd be more so rooting for it to come back down where it's clearly like sub cent. Um, if you could get it below like half a cent, I would be definitely adding because just even getting back to that all time high is a astronomical gain. So if you were to go from that point of control, back to this all-time high right on over here you'd be looking at least a 46x so i mean that's pretty good you're also buying under a cent so that means like each cent that it would go um once you get above a cent again well not that you aren't already but for argument's sake if you're to buy it down at half a cent on the dot that means each cent that you go up you're going up at least 100 percent from there once you were to get back up to there but um anyway that's all i'm really looking for for the time being the last thing that we can do is draw a uh trend-based fib reader, which would give us our fibonacci's so we go from 
that low. Too high. Back down. Oopsies. Back down. Uh, yeah, and you do have a 618 right here, which is at one cent, zero, zero, eight, nine. So you, firstly, you could look for that was a prior resistance area. So you could find that into a support. Uh, and then if you do end up coming back down, I would kind of skip this 5 level. I'd be looking at this 382, which is at two zeros, 66.98. Uh, if you do continue further from here, you did get rejected at the 786, which is at one cent, 35. Uh, if you were to get past that, next fib level you'd be looking at is this 10 level at one cent ninety five. So um, ultimately, if you did get confused by what I was talking about, uh, I am bullish on the Spear X. However, I think there is a chance that you do end up coming back down here, make a higher low, and then you can powerhouse on out of here through the several things that I said. This also does look like it is a falling wedge on a larger structure, which is really good. Uh, if you were to roughly take this with like a grain of salt, if you were to look for a measure move of this, and let's say, let me grab that, ready to break out right on over here, that gets you all the way up to about three cents. So other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions, and you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.